plans. Like I said in the last video, we are here at Talladega Short Track for the USDS Sprint Cars. Our car is ready to go the best it can be. Um, we'll see what it'll do tonight. They're doing a little bit different format. We're doing hot lap qualifying, so instead of sticking your hand in a bucket and drawing for a start place in a heat race, we're super excited about that. Hopefully that will um, keep down some of the, hopefully that'll cut down on some of the uh, wrecks and tearing up race cars. But we'll see what we got.
His wife Dallas and their little baby and their crewmen kind of chronicle what they do during the week with their capital race car. It's pretty good stuff. Just a nice overall good family. But he's going to have his hands full tonight with this very talented limited late model field. I didn't think I, the way it was running, I didn't think I would have got the pole. 
That's why I was surprised when y'all when told me that. We'll take it. Uh, all we gotta do is just jump out in front on the start of the race and stay there. Oh, uh, I like his qualifying. You know, it, I would rather do that any day of the week than have to run a heat race or something like that. So. Start in the back of a heat race, yeah. not knowing what you're starting behind. I, I like it. I wish we'd do it every week. Uh, yeah, I would gladly pay ten dollars for a transponder every week, or, or you know, if it took it, buy my own transponder. You know, so uh, I, I say good job to him on that. Yeah, I agree. I'm already on. Sorry, guys, but.
that's exciting.
from the feature. I apologize. I said a few cuss words. I probably shouldn't have, but I don't regret them because I was pissed, still pissed about it. Um, I do feel like they made some very bad calls. Um, and they've always said they protected the leader. And in that instance, they did not protect the leader. Um, and then a couple laps later, several laps later, um, two cars wrecked. Well, actually, Brad had got up to third. Somebody wrecked. And then, that time, they wanted to give the guy in front of him that Brad had just passed his spot back because they didn't complete the lap. So they took that lap back. So, if they were going to do that, they should have made it fair and done it both times. But they did not do that. Um, so I do feel like that there was several bad calls tonight. Bye! And that's going to happen. Unfortunately, that's going to happen. And unfortunately tonight, those bad calls happen to be on us. Um, it don't really matter because we came all the way from the rear back to the front and still won it. I don't feel like... Uh, I do feel like being taken out was on purpose. Uh, but it's one of those things. It, you, you remember it if you ever race with them again. But like I said in my live video, if you watched it, nobody likes a winner. Definitely nobody likes a winner the way we've been winning. And I'm not trying to sound cocky. I'm just being real. We've been um, winning by straightaways. And a lot of people think it's motor. It's not the motor. And to make that even more so true, our motor's not running right. And we still came back and won. Our front end is jumped because of the hit it took. Um, we've got sheet metal everywhere. I'll show you all this. There. There. Brutes and stuff, Brad, um, kept getting kind of bottled up, but it was because the motor wouldn't run like it should. We don't know if it's, we really don't think it's motor right now. We really think it's more carburetor. Maybe it's got some trash in it or something. So it's kind of falling on its face. But we'll work on that this week and see what we can do. And we'll get the front end fixed. Get all this sheet metal fixed. I think right now we're just gonna race on Saturday. I think so far our plans changed. You guys know that, you've seen that several times just about every week. We've made plans and series have canceled and everything else, um, but we, uh, we plan to be this Saturday, we plan to be at Mountain View Raceway. And then the 24th and 25th is with the Topless Outlaws. It's I-75 and Smoky Mountain. We are gonna do our best to be at those. We're gonna try to be at Sanoa on October the 2nd so just to kind of give you guys a rundown of a few of our races but that kind of all depends on how the rest of our season goes but even though it was a rough rough night rough race we still won so that's all that matters we came home with the winter money and the winter sticker so um we've got a fast hot rod fast fast hot rod we can't say enough about these capital or this capital race car benson racing and penske race racing shocks stop tech brakes this whole combination on this car is unbelievable. Um, Brad is able to put it wherever he needs to put it, top, bottom, it don't matter. We've just, we've got a hot, fast, hot rod right now and we're taking every advantage of it. We did not run super tonight because we don't have a super motor and we seen that last week. We're not very, we're competitive, we finished third, um, but we're not here to be a top three car, we're here to be winners. So we got back to our normal class tonight, sportsman and one after even after all the craziness you'll see that in the video and if you guys want you can go back and watch that live video on our facebook like i said i, I apologize for the cussing i try to keep it to a minimal i've tried to do better and i have done a lot better until stuff like that happens and then it comes out so anyway i'm gonna get a word with the driver in just a second it looks like they're working on the car
didn't understand that. Well, then we went to a restart, uh, worked outside, and got back around him on the outside, uh, clean. And then we had a caution, went down in turn one. The motor stumbled just a little bit in turn one. It caused me to push, so I lost it. But he got around me. Well, then we go down into turn four, and I'm going to drive up underneath him, and I don't know if he lit the tires up or what happened. He come down and hit me, and I really thought I was going to hit the inside wall head on. I got in the water and the mud, and I, I just tried to stand on the gas and try to keep it off the wall and uh, spun back out in front of everybody, and luckily everybody done a great job missing me. And, uh, what I don't understand about that was, I mean, I was scored the leader. Uh, when the caution come out, we didn't complete a lap. I don't understand why I had to go to the rear. The leader should have been protected. Right. So, yeah, they've always got that protected. Right. So then I went to the rear, started coming back up through there, and then uh, about halfway through the race, I passed the 21 car. I was ahead of him. Well, then we, we get a caution.
thanks to Richard Austin, Capital Race Cars, Pensley Shops. I mean, this is the best thing on the rail. Even, even a little beaten battered, it was still going down. It was still going to the front, so uh, can't say enough about it. I'm, I'm good. Y'all good? I'm good. All right. All right. Thanks for watching, make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, comment, membership, partner with us, all that good stuff. Okay, all right, all right. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. As you can tell, it's been an eventful night at Talladega Short Track. I told Brad um, yesterday we were going to Pell City, and I told him we were on the way. And I was like, you know, that I almost want to race this weekend. He's like, what? Why? We were going to take this weekend off. I said, but my thinking is, and again, I'm not being cocky. We just know what kind of car we've got and our car was sitting there. It, well, it wasn't sitting there ready. We had to get it ready, but we know what kind of car we've got. And I told him, I said, my thinking on it is if we don't go down there, we're leaving $600 on the table. It's what it pays to win limited here. Um, not the best payout. A lot of places around pay a lot better, but this is our home track. This is most convenient. And Adam Stewart that has newly acquired this place he's trying to do better with the payouts he has upped it a little bit it was less than that so we appreciate him taking the effort to to try to pay us more but we appreciate you guys watching be sure to like comment subscribe let us know what you think this will be an exciting video be sure you go back and watch that live video if you want to see me put on a show it might be a little rough but i apologize for that but we'll see you guys soon